basically what I'm trying to show you is, is how I'm going to post pictures to Instagram via your computer. So if you don't have like a phone around you, if your phone is dead, or you just basically want to do it through your computer because you have a specific photo on there, you can do it with this. So this is going to be how to do it. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously your image. So I'm going to jump into Google and I'm going to show you a link. I will link it down below for you guys so you guys can use it as well. You're going to download blue. Oops, wait, blue stop tapping. Blue stocks. You can do blue stocks too, which is the newest one. And then they have the old blue stocks. But I'm going to show you how to do it with blue stocks too, which is the newest one. Because a lot of videos are with the older version. And basically it's just a click and drag feature. But now things have changed. So it says download for Mac, so you can just hit this button right here and it will redirect you to the download link. You'll be not looking there, but I already have it. So we're just going to leave it. I will link you with this link right here. And you will just have to hit the download for Mac. And if you're a Windows user, this works just as well. And for Windows, it'll be a lot easier to do because most of your files are already in specific folder with Windows, it's kind of the same. So make sure you put everything in the same folder I'll be showing you for Mac. For Mac, it's a little bit complicated because we don't have the same stuff that Windows does, so it kind of just gets a little bit in the way. But I'm still going to show you that it's exactly the same and how we do it. So once it's downloaded and installed, you can go ahead and set it up. And it's an easy setup. Double click on it, and it should open around here. Taking a while to load. And we're just giving it a couple of minutes. When it's finished loading, I'm going to prompt you. This is basically like an Android tablet. I'm just going to prompt you to a couple apps you're going to need to download. So we're going to go here under the search bar, and this is where it's going to take me. You're going to have to set up a Google account for this. It's going to ask you to do all that setup. So you can do that setup. I would show you in a further video how I did this. And basically, you're just going to go ahead and then you can install Instagram on here and all this kind of fun stuff. Make sure you have a Google account. You don't have to put any account information on it. Just make sure you do have a Google account, as I said, on and on, because that's how you'll be able to download apps. So you can type in, for example, let's say, whoops. Yes, if I spelled that right, <laughs> and you're just going to go ahead and I guess it signed into my Facebook, you're going to download this one, it doesn't have to be any of the special other ones, these are the Chromecast plugin and then the theme classic, but we want this one right here, the file manager, just go ahead and install that. Once you've installed it, make sure you have Instagram. Oop, that's in the way. Alrighty. Instagram installed. I have that installed as well. So make sure you have some Instagram installed there. And scrolling down. I'm just going to slide all these notifications and clear them all away. Oh, you don't want to see that. Alrighty. like that just make sure it's all cleared and because it's like my current google account it's sending me all this stuff weird alrighty so once you've installed that let's just go ahead and minimize our screen and go ahead and if you have an image I'm just gonna put a random image here so let's go for quotes tumblr and just pick a random quote so Something like this could be. Or, actually, this one, I guess. We'll do anything. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and drag this. Oop, we didn't want to do that. We definitely didn't want to do that. And take this ooh, and drag it to your home screen. There you go. And then we're going to open File Manager. 
and then you're just going to take this little darn crazy logo and drag it into your documents. Just make sure it's in your documents and close. So now we can just go ahead and close this. Minimize this for now. And we're going to go back into Blue Stack. And as you probably see, you can be installed both the ES File Explorer and Instagram. And I will show you exactly why in a second. So you jump into Instagram. This is basically my feed. And it's just like a regular. Oh, you don't want to do that. That's kind of like weird photos. <laughs> Your camera, Instagram pictures, basically. Your camera pictures, which are pictures that I took of this camera. That's me. <laughs> and we're gonna hit, we hit photos. There's like nothing, just that. So we're gonna hit other. And you're on Mac, so keep that in mind. So we're just gonna go back. Uh, usually, it's going to prompt you right here. There we go. To this. And it says like it waits for you. You can hit pick from windows, but it's not going to work. As you can see, it does not work. So what you want to do is hit other once again, and make sure you have right here under the settings, display advanced devices. That way you can see your tablet space. Once you hit this, you can scroll and you should be able to go into windows. Not downloads, because in downloads you don't have anything, you just have this random file, which you don't know what it's doing there. So you want to go under Windows, and then you have Pictures, Input Manager Pictures are the stuff that's in your photo booth, or photo library. The photo library are just thumbnails, segments, and all this like weird stuff that you honestly don't need to care about. And then the photo library, so if you ever wanted to just write content originals. They're all here, the originals. Which are without the filters and all that funky stuff that I have to do. And the backdrops and the pictures, but it's like not necessary. Let's full screen this for you guys. So, come back. Go into Windows once again, and you're going to go under Documents. And then that picture that you have should be in there. This one. And there you go. And you can just like resize it to its regular size, like this. Keep it like this. You can also pick out the color for it if you wanted it to have some like color. I don't like that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then you can like type whatever you want. I don't know. Sure. Something like that, if you wish. And that should be what you get. So that's the picture I posted. And just minimizing this. That's basically how you do it. Just make sure that any picture that you're going to use is in the finder, dragged not into your downloads, but into your documents. That way you can easily do it and you have no problem in doing so because it is a bit of a struggle sometimes for some people to find it. So if it's in your documents or at least you can manage to drag it to where all the photo gallery is, which is basically where the photo booth gallery is. That also works as well. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to check out my previous video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. And here's my USB Super Drive unboxing. So there it is, your USB Super Drive. And that's what it looks like. Over the top.